Hi, morning all. Um, we're just going to do a circuit here this morning of um, for beginner, intermediate and advanced. I'll do the exercises for intermediate and advanced and Amy will do the exercises for the beginner. Okay, so it, it covers everyone then in the family. So anyone can do this. Okay, right, we'll get going first with our warm up if you have your bands. First of all, the bands, just an activation band. Just to activate, so that just goes up over your knees, okay, like so. Put a little bit of tension on the band, okay. Little bit of tension on the band, down into the squat position, and move one, two, three, and four, and back away. One, two, three, and four, and back again. One, two, three, and four. Keeping the weight on the band. Three, four, and relax. Okay, we're going to keep the tension on the band now. All you do is down, hands in by the chest, and squat nice and slow. For one, nice and slow. Two, good. Three, four, and five. Okay, what we'll do then is just do a few March A walks. Okay, first. All we're going to do is go like this. That's all we're going to do. That's it. For one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay. We'll go down now. We'll push down the band down around the ankle area. Okay. And we're just going to do a few glute walks, dynamic glute walks. Okay. But you just walk them like this. One, two, three, and four. And back to me. One, two, three, and four. And forward again. That's it. One, two, three, four. And back to me. One, two, three, and four. Okay, so that's the end of the activation now. Kick off the bends. We're just going to put into a stretch now, a small little stretch where you walk through the stretches before you start the circuit. So we'll start with the hamstrings, which are just here behind here, and you just walk through with your toe pointing straight up like this. You see our toes pointing straight up? That's all you do. Lock out your knee. Very good. And you just do about five on each. Okay? And relax. Okay, just going to open up our hip now to mobilize our hip. Hands on the hips, nice and slow. Very good. Nice and slow. Movement, very, very gentle. Very easy. Just mobilizing up all around that hip area. Again, about five in each. And relax. We're just going to lunge now, and we'll reach up. Now you can lunge. Keep it on the hips. Or you can lunge and reach up. Or you can lunge like this. It's up to yourself. And away you go. Stretch in the back quad. That's it. And you're activating your glutes. Or you can do it on the hips like I am there now. And relax. Okay, we're going to walk out our calves now. Okay, so we'll go down like this. Okay, down like this. That's it. Right over left and hold. And switch. Switch again. And again, once more. Switch again. Now we're going to stretch the glutes. You just tuck the leg in under you like this. That's it. And switch. And switch again. And last time, switch again. 
And again, you're just holding for about five in your head. Okay, you're going to stretch your back now. Head down between your elbows. Reach away from the body with the hands. Move slowly, keep your head down, move slowly to the left. Back to the right. Back to center. And sit back onto your heels, then looking up at the ceiling. That's it. You're stretching everything in the front. And relax. Okay, we're onto the mat now again. We'll go down into the press-up position just for a little warm-up on the press-up. Amy's going to do it on the knees, and I'll do the full press-up. So you have your palms to your hand on both of them are under the shoulder joint. Okay. And down for one. Two. Three. Four. And five. And relax. You're still warm enough, so these are the exercises you're going to be doing in the circuit. We'll just do five nice squats, nice and slow. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, so we're ready now for the main circuit. Okay, so we're going to start with the press up by 10. If you only have to do it by five, do it by five. I'm going to do the press up for the intermediate stroke advanced, and Amy's going to do it on the knees for the beginning. Okay, so we'll start with the press up. By 10. Again, if you only want to do five, just do five. Okay? For one, two, three, nice and slow. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. For all that downward movement, try and count to three or four in your head. Keep the movement nice and slow. Okay, we're going to squat with the med ball now. So I've got a 5 kg med ball. If you have a 5 kg dumbbell or a 3 kg dumbbell, use that. Amy's got a 1 kg med ball. Or you can use a bag of sugar, 1 kg as well. Okay, shoulder width apart. Start in with the chest and push out on the way down. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, so we're going from the upper body to the lower body. Okay, now we're going to go on some, some core. So we've hit the upper body. Hit the lower body. We're going to do a bit of core now. So we're going to do some crunches. Okay. So Amy's going to do normal ones. I'm going to do the more advanced one where the legs are up. Okay. And we're going to do it by 10. Okay. One. Again, the movement is slow. Two. Sucking that belly button in. Three. Four. Five, six, very good, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Lovely. Okay. This time we're going to do a plank. Okay? But we're going to do the plank. We're going to do the plank in our hands. Okay? So I'll show it there first. Then you can see, all you're going to do is like this. You're just going to be down in that press up position. And you're just going to hold the plank. So Amy's just going to hold it like that. Okay? I'm going to do a little bit more advanced, so let's go like this. But I have to hold my core. Okay? So Amy's just going to hold it like this. And we're going to hold for 30 seconds. Okay? And go.
should have belly buttoning all the time. And relax. Okay. It's just two different variations of how to do the plank. Okay. We're going to go Superman's now next. Okay. So we're going to start on all fours like this. Okay. Looking ahead, keeping everything nice and straight. When my right leg pushes out, it's my left arm goes out. Just going to go out like that. You're just pushing back as if you're pushing something behind you. You're just doing five on each side. That's three, four, trying to keep everything nice and steady. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Excellent. You hit the core here in your back, okay? We're going to go on the upper body now again. We're going to go on the shoulders, okay? So Amy's going to use her 1 kg dumbbells. And I've got two here, okay? All right? So all you're gonna do is slight bend in the knee. You start here, okay? And you're gonna go up, touch. One, just back to here then. Two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, keep breathing through the exercise. Nine, in through the nose on the way down, out on the way up. Ten, excellent. Just another little variation that if you didn't have the, the dumbbells, is the, if, if you have a power band, just put it under your feet like that. Okay, get it up here at the shoulder and just go like that. One, two, again just comes down to your, your chin, okay? That's just another variation for the shoulder press. Okay, now we're going to do sumo squat. So I'll just show you for sumo squat. A normal squat stands shoulder width apart. Sumo squat goes out wider than your shoulders, but you also splay out the feet like this, which is what you don't do in the normal squat, okay? Start in here, and your knee follows the pad of your feet, okay? So you're squatting like that, okay? Again, you can do it with something in your hand or without something in your hand. So I'm going to use the med ball, okay? Amy's just going to use her body weight, or she can use her med ball if she wants to, okay? Or you can just use your body weight if you want. You just follow the, the pathway, your knees follow out, okay? For one. Two, three, four, five, very good. In through the nose on the way up, out on the way down, through your mouth. Eleven, eight, really sit back as if you're sitting on a chair. Nine, and ten. Excellent. Okay. Let's move the mats to one side. So do a few burpees now. Okay? Amy's making faces at me here. Um, so we're going to do it by 10. Okay? So we're going to start down here. Okay? For one. Two. do more okay okay that's really good gets the heart rate moving okay now we're going to finish up the circle with a little bit more condition and it's side to sides and all it is like this okay all i'll be doing is moving to the side and reaching to the opposite hand so i'll be going to the left touch to the right touch 
Left touch. Right touch. Left touch. Okay, we'll do 10 on each side. Okay? So we're gonna go that side first then. Okay? One, two, three, four, quick feet. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Okay. Now the heart rate's up, so you take a rest. That's one circuit, okay? Take a rest for two minutes, all right? And then you do another circuit. If you're able to do a second one, do one. If you're not, gradually build it up. And if you're able to do a third one, do a third one and leave it at that, okay? And after your third one, take a rest, hydrate all the time, and have your stretch afterwards. Hold in your stretch for 10 in your head, remember, Beforehand it was five, but hold it for ten your head. Okay? Thanks Danny today. Great stuff. Stay safe.